Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are installing this vehicle options menu, which adds just a few useful things like the doors, the windows, liveries, extras, managing your license plate, and even changing your vehicle seats. So obviously it could be really good for role play situations if you need to roll down your window without having to use a huge trainer type menu. So it's pretty easy to install. There are two things you're gonna need for this. The first thing you're gonna need is native UI, which uh, most people probably have in their server if you've ever run um, EUP or anything like that. But we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and down download this right away. Both links are down in the description, so feel free to download them right away. Obviously, it is an archive type uh, resource here, but all you have to do is just go ahead and click the source code uh, zip file here, and we'll go ahead and download native UI. And then inside of here, you can see it actually has a menu, an example, and then an actual resource. Make sure you don't drag in this overall folder when we get to that step. Make sure you just drag in that native UI step. And then you're going to go ahead and go back to the main vehicle options page, and you're just going to go to where it says menu link, and this is going to take you to GitHub. And all you have to do when you are here is go ahead and click this big green button and go ahead and download it as a zip file and open up that zip file as well using WinZip, 7-Zip, WinRAR, whatever you use. And now you can see we have two um, folders. We've got the native UI folder and we have the vehicle options folder. And then make sure you're going inside this first vehicle options folder to the second vehicle options folder because it, sometimes it gets doubled up. If you get an error that's like uh, cannot load resource folder name, it's probably because there's actually a second folder inside and that's actually a resource folder. So. Let's go into the server data folder, resources, or wherever you store your resources. For Zap Hosting, it's probably on your FTP. For TX Admin, it's probably in your TX data folder. It's just up to however you installed the server. For me, since I installed it the old way, I have the server data folder. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and drag in is the native UI. So you can see in here, just make sure you have these files and you can go ahead and drag native UI into your resources folder. And then you're just going to go in here and make sure you're in the second folder. Once again, the vehicle options underscore menu and drag that in as well. We can go ahead and close these two out. So inside your vehicle options uh, underscore menu, if you edit with notepad plus plus or notepad the menu.lula file you can go ahead and see all of the key bindings so default key binding is f3 you can change that here and you can also have a command if you want by default it's car menu um, and then if you don't know what you're doing don't edit below here but if you do know what you're doing you can translate the files and everything down here as well so feel free to do that if you need to but we're just going to keep everything default all right, so if we go back to our server data folder and edit our server.cfg file, what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and load native UI first. So we're going to do ensure native UI, just making sure it starts before the other resource. And then we're just going to make sure we get this name right. So I'm just going to right click rename and copy that folder name and vehicle options underscore menu here. Go ahead and save that file. And the way we can tell if that file was saved correctly and everything's working is by starting up our 5M server by either opening our start.bat or double clicking our fx server.exe and as long as you see native ui and the vehicle options when you start successfully you know you are good so let's go ahead and hop into the game all right so unfortunately i'm in the worst place on the map to go ahead and test this but if we go ahead and click f3 you can see the vehicle options menu actually opens um so we can go ahead and scroll through here for the door opens you want to open the front left door there you go front right door etc back left door back right door the trunk if there's obviously no trunk or the hood there's obviously no hood on this one your windows uh options you can roll them down you can roll them up um you've got messages back windows up down etc all work great if you have any liveries you can see them there vehicle extras same with that manage your license plate you can customize it to make it whatever you want and you can see it has changed to that and you can obviously jump around in the seats as well so now i am in the back seat um so hopefully this did help you install this resource um it is quite handy for your roleplay service and hopefully you did enjoy so make sure to subscribe like and comment and i will see you either in two or four days depending on how much work i have irl thank you so much for hanging out with me i'll see you next time goodbye everyone